solve the following equations by completing the square okay let me tell you the general method completing the square so we have to keep only x square plus or minus bx in the left side and if there is a number move that to the right side then add the number so that the left hand side becomes a perfect square for that we add half of b square so b over 2 quantity square so this is an equation so we have to add same thing okay now the left hand side becomes uh, ex just ex what is the sign there plus or minus plus or minus it could be minus then you put minus and b over 2 quantity square equals you combine these two term then use the square root property when we use a square when we get rid of this square then we have x plus or minus b over 2 equals plus minus whatever we have that square of that here to here square root property okay so let's try this one so we have to keep only x square and x term in the left side so need to move negative 16 to the other side so we add 16 to the both sides we get x is square plus 6x equals negative 16 add 16 to the both sides 16 so we have now x square plus bx in the left side okay now we need to add this is x square plus bx b over 2 half of b half of b square okay half of b square which is what let me work out here so b equals 6 half of b square 6 over 2 that's 3 square 9 so we need to add 9 to the both sides we add plus 9 plus 9 now the left hand side becomes a perfect square equals right hand side 16 plus 9 add that's 25 and this one is always x is so just x uh, plus or minus whatever we have here so plus and 9 is in fact 3 squared so 3 so x plus 3 squared this left hand side becomes x plus 3 quantity squared you can check if you multiply x plus 3 by itself just foil x plus 3 to x plus 3 you get x squared plus 6x plus 9 okay next we use the square root property okay quantity square equals a number then that quantity x plus 3 is equal to plus minus square root of this number 25 that is x plus 3 equals plus minus square root of 25 is 5 okay and finally to isolate x we subtract 3 from both sides so we get let me write over here x equals plus or minus subtract 3 from both sides negative 3 so in fact there are two numbers so we need to consider separately x equals plus 5 minus 3 so plus 5 minus 3 that's 2 minus 5 minus 3 minus 5 minus 3 so both negatives so negative 8 uh, before we say these are solutions plug in x equals 2 and negative 8 into the original equation okay we get 0 we get right hand side so they are answers so 2 and negative 8 okay next question similar so we want to keep x square plus or minus bx in the left hand side so we need to move plus negative 1 to the other side so add 1 to the both sides we get x is square minus 3x add 1 so we get 1 plus 1 okay it's like x square minus bx so to make it perfect to make it a perfect square we need to add something where b is is 3 so 3 over 2 quantity square which is 3 square 9 fourths so we need to add 9 fourths both sides so 9 fourths 9 fourths now the magic here in the left hand side when we add this magic number this becomes a perfect square x square just x is minus and by the way 9 fourths is 3 halves square so 3 half 
okay if you multiply x minus 3 half by itself square means multiply this by itself you get this expression equals 1 plus 9 fourths add here 1 and 9 fourths 1 is in fact 4 fourths you can multiply by 4 over 4 uh, 4 fourths plus 9 fourths so 13 fourths okay 1 is 4 fourths plus 9 fourths so 13 fourths now we use the square root property so when we have a quantity square equals a then that quantity x minus 3 half is equal to plus minus square root of this number 13 over 4 okay and eventually we isolate x as a negative 3 halves so add 3 halves to the both sides so x equals add so plus minus square root of 13 over 4 uh, we are adding plus 3 halves so plus 3 halves in fact we have two numbers here okay let me put both take positive ones and negative so positive so we don't have to write there a uh, square root of we can take the square root of uh, 4 that's 2 so I don't write the square root. so positive is square root of 13 over 2 plus 3 halves one answer comma minus or negative uh, is square root of 13 over square root of 4 is 2 so let's write 2 plus 3 halves that's another number the answer we can combine these two because we have same denominator common denominator is 2 so uh, root 13 plus 3 so plus 3 plus so we can add 3 first doesn't matter 3 plus root 13 comma here 2 is the common denominator negative root 13 plus 3 so we write 3 minus root 13 3 minus root 13 okay uh, you can check I mean this will be a decimal number by the way if we plug this into the original equation uh, we get zero okay but it's difficult to check anyway these two are the answers okay